And we're back. It's time for the Richard Fowler Rehab. As you guys know, it is the holiday season, um, and it being that it's part of the holiday season, you know, I'm a big believer in the Christmas miracle. Um, I don't think I've ever had a Christmas miracle happen to me, but who knows? We're only a couple days from Christmas, so indeed, there might indeed be a Richard Fowler Christmas miracle in the works. I need one. Um, but this story is about an airline. I um, mean, rarely ever. I think in the new in this new culture of doing everything to make airlines, so, you know, they charge you for everything. They charge you if you cough. They charge you for a bag. They charge you for a seatbelt. They charge you for peanuts. They charge you for headphones. They charge you for a blanket. And, I mean, going through T TSA, that might as well be a charge because it feels as though you're, you know, completely and totally, you might as well just go to the airport naked. But this is an example of, a, I guess, a, what do you want to call it? Uh... I don't know. Hope at the end of a at the end of a dark tunnel. Um, WestJet, Canada's second largest airlines, um, did something really amazing for passengers. And it's just when I read the story, I'm like, we've got to talk about it on the show. Amazing. So, a Santa Claus appeared in a life si on a life size screen at a boarding gate in Toronto and Hamilton, Ontario asking actual passengers what they wanted for Christmas. So they went around and asked all the passengers, hey, what do you want for Christmas? And this life-size, you know, live, on-air sort of Santa. But what the passengers didn't know was behind the scenes, all WestJet employees were taking notes on what everyone wanted for Christmas. Once the plane took off, WestJet employees got to work being Santa's little helpers. They scurried and dashed to, to shop as much as they could, wrapped and labeled all those gifts from all the Christmas Santa wishes, right? And when passengers landed in Calvary, a few hours later, the gift, a few hours later, the gifts made their grand entrance on the baggage claim conveyor belt. Everything from socks and underwear to a big screen TV made its way around the belt. And the unbridled emotion of the passengers was just something to say. This is, listen, folks, we're going to post, I'm going to tweet this out if you're listening to this on the radio. If you're watching us, the link for this video is right below. Watch this link. If, it will bring you to tears. Um, I'm a big believer in this whole idea of joy rising, right? I rarely ever get to talk about this on the show, but this whole idea that joy comes from the pit of your stomach and it rises up. And this is just the biggest example of joy rising as all those folks out there sort of saw their Christmas wish come true. You just see the joy rising up and the tears and the laughter and the happiness because this airline fulfilled a Christmas miracle for 250 passengers. It's by far one of the most remarkable things I've seen. Um, now this, it, did, it wasn't a small feat by WestJet. It took 150 employees who did everything from coordinating logistics at the airport to high-speed shopping, wrapping, and clearing gifts through airport security and serving hot cocoa to serving hot cocoa at the baggage claim. Um, it, it's just, it, it's wow. It's phenomenal. Shout out to WestJet in Canada for their Christmas miracle. It's one of those, it's so powerful. It's some powerful stuff. Absolutely powerful. I love it. This is the season where, you know, there's the good tidings of good joy and you just want everybody around you to be happy. Um, and so it's, it's just amazing to see that WestJet was able to do that for all of their passengers. <laughs>